Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shai, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us the truth and who rule well. Peace, love, salutations, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. California wildfires, all right? There's an SOS alert, you know, within the United States of America, which is Babylon the whore, all right, which, um, these wildfires are just judgments from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, which the cause of these wildfires this year was lightning strikes all right, that kept hitting all right, the state of California. All right, California wildfire map, wildfire preparedness and safety information. But uh, pretty much a California is being scorched right now. And this, this is just basically what Yahweh Shai said in Luke 12 and 49, all right, which reads, I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? All right, which there's different ways fires are being kindled. And you got riots that are going on right now within um, Kenosha, Kenosha, Wisconsin. All right, and there they're setting things ablaze. All right, you got fires that are being caused by, you know, so-called terrorist attacks exploding pipelines all right you got our uh, nations dropping bombs on other nations all right but this is just a fulfillment of what Yahweh Shai said that when he comes there will already be fire upon the earth but Yahweh Shai is going to bring fire you know and how is he going to bring fire he's going to bring fire by way of the chariots that he comes in which are the chariots of salvation unto the elect of the nation of Israel but until the rest of the world a dead chariots of destruction because that's what they're going to cause. They're going to cause destruction. They're going to actually kill people. Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, is going to kill people. All right? And understanding that, would, are you going to look at him as being a bad individual now? All right? Yahweh Shai, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, when he comes, the scripture says that he comes to bring a fire upon the earth. And that a fire that fires will already be kindled. And we're seeing these fires ablazing. We're seeing these fires kindling. All right, we're seeing nations get scorched by wild wildfires. All right, we're seeing fires by way of protesters. All right? Because there's a lot of protesting that's going on. All right, they've been protesting in, in, in uh Portland for a good while now. The book of Second Ezra, the 13th chapter, verse 1, it says, and, and it came to pass after seven days I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea, and it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, and when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were under him. And that man is speaking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, and tell you in the book of Jude that he comes with the ten thousands of his saints. That's speaking about Yahweh Shai returning with the angels to judge the ungodly. And wheresoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. Like as the earth felleth when it feeleth the fire. And why? Because when Yahweh Shai returns, he's going to send out concentrated fire, all right, which is known as laser beams, out of the chariots. And what are they going to do? They're going to zap people. And when they zap you, you're going to disintegrate into ashes, into dust. All right? You're going to disintegrate. So he's bringing the fire. But when he returns, fire is already going to be kindled. Reading on. It says, And after this I beheld, and lo, there were gathered together a multitude of men out of, the, out of number, from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. Because when these when they implement the RFID chip worldwide and make it mandatory, which is the mark of the beast, these nations are eventually going to fight against each other in World War III. But as they see Yahweh Shai coming in the clouds for all eyes shall see him, they're going to leave off for fighting each other and they're going to try to fight our Lord and Savior. All right, but I beheld and lo, he had engraved himself a great mountain and flew upon it because he's going to come in a great fathership, a gigantic ship 
All right, which is which is 10 times the size of earth. But I would have seen the region or place wherewith the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this, I behold, and lo, they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, and yet durst fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. But I only saw that he sent out of his mouth, as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which were prepared to fight, and burned them up every one, so that upon a, so uh, a sudden and innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived, but only dust, the smell of smoke. And when I was and when I saw this, I was afraid. You know, and this is the reason why. These nations, when they see Yahweh Shai coming, they're going to be afraid. But the Lord is going to put it in their mind to, to still try to fight him. Because there's no way that you can, you know, win against him. All right, he's a, he's a superpower. And you're just a man upon the earth. You're just flesh and blood. So there's no way that you can win that battle. But as you can see, when Yahweh Shai, Lord and Savior, comes, he's coming to bring forth fire, as it states within the book of Luke 12 and 49. I am come to send fire upon the earth, on the earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? Because you got these riots that are going on, and people are kindling fires. They're burning buildings. They're burning, you know, they always burn their own homes, you know, trying to escape, you know, rent that they have to pay to their landlord. All right, but they'll burn down their businesses within their cities. And also you have wildfires that are being caused you know by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh all of this is is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh at the end of the day so there's going to be fires that 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 are already set in the earth but Yahweh Shai is going to bring even more fire now even more fire is going to come by way of thermonuclear destruction all right when you go into the book of Joel the second chapter which it speaks about nuclear missiles all right, the army in Joel, the second chapter, is speaking about the nuclear missiles. All right, these are going to eventually be shot off in the earth. All right, and Yahweh Shai is going to come and he's going to go to the places where the elect are and send his angels to the place where the elects are. And they're going to gather the elect to escape the thermonuclear destruction that's coming upon the earth. All right, and to escape the fire that's going to be caused by the, the, the thermonuclear missiles. All right, and this is what is known as the day of doom. Joel, the second chapter, verse 1, it says, Blow ye the trumpet of Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahweh cometh, for it is nigh at hand. So the day of Yahweh consists of Yahweh shall coming with the angels and bringing even more fire upon the earth, and then eventually thermonuclear destruction which is going to be caused by the weapons of Yahweh Bashmi Abishai's indignation, the instruments of death, which is the ICBM missiles, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and a day of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people in a, in a strong, there have never been the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations, because after these missiles are used in the earth, there's not going to be any more need for them because the earth is going to be at a state of peace. There's not going to be any more war anymore once the Israelites are set up over it. And the governing body, beginning with Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, King David, and 144,000 is going to rule over the earth. And there's not going to be any more war in the earth. All right, so that strong people, that great and strong people is speaking about the ICBM missiles, which is going to cause a day of gloominess, you know, a, a day of darkness, a day of uh, clouds and thick darkness, because those nuclear mushroom clouds and the ash, you know, in the elements of the earth that are blown up into the air is going to blot out the sun and then the moon and the stars. A fire devoureth before them and behind them a flame burneth. 
All right, the land is as the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, and nothing shall be shall escape them. All right, so these nuclear missiles, when they're projected to the place that they go, all right, they're going to cause the earth to be a desolate wilderness. All right, just like Sodom and Gomorrah right now is a desolate wilderness, the lands where these nuclear missiles are going to detonate are going to be a, a, a nuclear wasteland. All right, it's going to become a desert, a place for desert creatures to, to inhabit. The appearance of them are as the appearance of horses, and as and as horsemen, so shall they run, because when they're shot, they they they, it's like they leap, at an arc fashion, you know, like a horse gallop, but also horses represent power. All right, you gauge a car in horsepower. Like the noise of the chariots on the top of the mountains, shall they leap, like the noise of the flame of the fire. That devoureth the stubble, a strong people set in battle array. Before their face, the, the people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather blackness. Why? Because people know about ICBM missiles. They know about nuclear missiles. And there's a fear that the earth will enter into a nuclear war. All right, so people know that this is a possibility but when it actually happened, they're going to be petrified because there's no way that you can escape these. There's no way that you can outrun these. All right. The only way that you can escape them is by way of Yahweh shiny angels delivering you from the destruction. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall uh, like men of war. They shall march everyone on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. So every place that they're scheduled to hit, every place that they're set up to hit, they're going to hit. And that nuclear fire is going to climb up into the windows. All right, they're going to climb up the walls. There's no way where you can hide from them. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk everyone in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Why? Because he's not speaking about actual men. It's not speaking about actual soldiers in the regard of men. All right, this is speaking about intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right, metaphorically, all right, is using a similitude to, to reference what is known today as nuclear missiles. They shall run to and fro in the city. All right, they shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up all right, upon the houses. They shall enter in uh, at the windows of the thief, uh, like a thief. All right, the earth shall quake before them, the heaven shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Because the nuclear mushroom clouds are going to blot out the sun. They're going to blot out, you know, the, 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 the sky. And Yahweh shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of Yahweh is great and very terrible, and who shall abide it? All right, who shall abide it? Unless Yahweh Bashmi Abishai deliver you from those times. And these missiles were created for our power. They were created for Yahweh Bashmi Abishai for this day. That's the reason why the scriptures call them the weapons of his indignation. All right, so there's going to be fires caused by what people will call natural disasters. All right. And even the door had to chime in on that. <laughs> Just being silly, but there's going to be fires that are caused by Yahweh Shai when he comes. But then Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has nuclear missiles, which are known as the weapons of his indignation. All right. Second Peters 3 and 10. But the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night in which... The heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying. Shalom.